Hi everyone, this is Alma coming to you from Long Beach, California. Today is Friday, April 9th of the year 2021 and this is my 55th foster video here on YouTube. So as always, I want to welcome you all. Welcome back to all my current viewers and subscribers. Thank you as always for your continuing support. And if this is your first time visiting, then welcome. Um, this is a channel where I talk about my cross-stitch projects, most of which have full coverage. So if that sounds like something of interest, then I hope that you settle in, you grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. I hope that you like what you see and you find a reason to stay, subscribe, and continue to follow me on my stitching journey. Um, this week is pretty busy for me. Um, <clears throat> I was off of school for this week for spring break thank goodness <laughs> much need a break um I wasn't able to well I did get some stitching done I wasn't able to touch as many projects as I would have liked but the, the few that I did uh, work on got got plenty of progress um so yeah so without further ado let's get to the stitching First, um, first and foremost, as always, I want to show you my focus piece for this year. This is Hogwarts Castle at Night, a pattern that I got from the Stitching Girl. And I started this back in June of 2018. And the goal is to finish it either on or before um, July 31st, since that's Harry Potter's birthday. And so far so good. This is I, I wasn't able to take it out of the key snack. I was working on this just before I started recording, but I have hit 96,000 stitches, which is just about 78% <laughs> of the entire piece. Most of which have, has been on the black and the blue sky up here. So I have filled in all the blue sky. Um, and this, is, this has been the major focus of this week. This week alone has seen 2,000 stitches on this, and actually 2,500, because I did put in another 500 yesterday. The hope is to continue to put in 500 stitches every day for the rest of the weekend. So 500 today, Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, because in order to reach the goal, in order to finish the piece when I want to finish it, I would have to do at least 1,800 stitches a week. And uh, the first week of April, I really wasn't able to work on this as much as I wanted to. I got in some stitches for the daily 30 challenge that I'm a part of, where you're supposed to stitch on something for at least 30 minutes a day. So, but sometimes that's all I would get, it was just 30 minutes and then that's it. I would need to move on to something else, like school related. Um, so this week was catch up week. Um, so that's why I did 2,000 stitches for last week, and so I need to finish the 2,000 stitches because I'm, I'm also doing another challenge on magical stitches, so that's why I wanted the 2,000 even. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get, that, to get that done this weekend, and then next week I can just stay on track, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and the next bit I want to show you is going to be on my tablet. Uh, and this is another one of my regular pieces. You guys have seen this pretty much every week for the last few months. Um, it's going to be a piece for a friend of mine who's having a baby in like a month, which is insane. But this is what I want to give her. Um, her nursery is going to be Winnie the, po Winnie the Pooh themed. So I knew that I had to make her something and I found this and it was perfect. This is Winnie the Pooh by Hornswoggle Store on Etsy. The plan is to add the baby's information like along the bottom. Uh, or maybe, hmm, maybe I can do backwards. Maybe I can like take the quote, put it down here, and then have the baby's information up there. That could work as well. I'll have to, I'll have to see. <laughs> I'll have to play with it. Um, I'm not nearly where I want to be right now and this was one of the pieces that I was hoping to get to more than I did this week. This is what I have so far. I'm still working on the log. There's like maybe five, one, two, one, two, yeah, five shades 
of brown that go along the log to kind of give it that texture. It's a lot and it's kind of slow going. Um, and this, I don't, I can't use this on Pattern Keeper, so that's why it's slow going. But this piece is mostly my weekend piece. So I think that's also why I wasn't able to work on it because I'm used to just picking it up on the weekends. So that's gonna have to change for the rest of the month because <laughs> otherwise I'm not gonna get this done before baby comes. Um, but yeah, the plan is to continue doing, um, there's, a, there's still a little bit of the sky blue over here. So that's gonna be all half stitched. The grass, there's, I'll show you the picture again. There's like blue blobs <laughs> underneath the grass as well. It's like gray and blue. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and omit those. So I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. All this section right here, I think I'm just gonna do away with. I may, I may still do this little bit of grass right here, but I think I'm just gonna, going to not not do this entire section right here and just stick with the the blob of grass. Because again, um, coming up on the deadline. Not that it's a deadline, but you know. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, I started with the grass down here. So the plan is to just go ahead and stick with that and not do anything else. Um, but yeah, this is this is coming along slowly but surely. Um, another piece that I worked on this this week, actually it was more last week than anything else, was my whip go call for this for this month. This is, I call this Flowers of the Galaxy. The product doesn't have an official name, but this, I just, it has like a bunch of description words. And one of them is like galaxy and flowers. So I'm like, okay, Flowers of the Galaxy. This is the, the Etsy shop where I got it from, two by two cross stitch, or two by two stitch art. Two by two stitch art. It's still available. I checked a few days ago, because I did post this on Instagram earlier this week. I think this is the right way. Yeah, this is what I have so far. I'm trying to double it so you can, so you don't have to see. The <laughs> you know how it is with black fabric. Sometimes it's a little bit see-through. Um, the six, I put 675 stitches, I think. Um, most of them, most of those stitches were to finish up the stems down here and a couple of the leaves. And then this flower over here, this, this entire thing essentially wasn't here, wasn't there before. And the reason why, so not, not only was it the whip go call for this month, but I'm also participating in Choose My Whip over with Semi Saint Stitchers. And the premise is that you post two or three projects um, that you would like to work on. And then the rest of the people that are participating in the, in the event vote for their favorite. So whichever one the, is the winner at the end is the one they have to focus on for the week. So the last few days of March, like the last three days or so, um, that was when the voting began so that you could begin stitching on April 1st. So the first seven days, this was the focus. So I was able to work on it for quite a bit and I dropped my, my project bag. <laughs> Um, but I'm hoping to still work on it a little bit more. I may just put it up as a, another option on for not this week, but the following week. There we go. Um, so that I, cause again, it's, it's still a whip go, whip go piece and I did want to finish it this month. I don't think it's going to happen, but it may happen next month. So I still want to finish it cause it's one of the, the ones that are one of the few whips that I have that is close to a finish. So I do want to finish it. Uh, okay. What else? Um, actually, it's gonna be over here as well. Another event that I'm participating on in uh, semi saint Stitchers is uh, Go Stitch, which is a, it's a play on the card game Go Fish. The premise of the game is that you there's a wheel with all the letters of the alphabet on it every day they spin it and then 
you have to stitch on a project whose name starts with the letter that the wheel lands on. Um, and it's 200 stitches for, for every day. If you don't have anything that starts with that letter, or if you just, you have something, we just don't want to stitch on something, then you just call out, go, go fish, go stitch. And you have to do twice as many, uh, twice as many stitches. So I've been getting, I've been getting some, some work on, on quite a few piece, uh, a few pieces. The, one of the ones that I got on, hang on, I'm just going to show you the, the full piece first and then I'll zoom in, yeah? So the, the other day we had a wild card actually, so it wasn't an actual letter. So I decided to pull out my Reader's Paradise. This is super sized Max, Max Color version. The artwork is by Amy Stewart and the chart is by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I'm still in the bottom left corner. I'm still working on this book stack right here. So the 200 stitches were all in these golds and oranges that are along the, the spine of the, the books, which I'll show you. This is it right here. So yeah, as you can see, <laughs> very, very tiny start still. Um, it's just going to be such a massive piece that progress is going to be slow no matter what. Um, okay, yeah. I was gonna, I was making sure that the needle was somewhere. Oddly enough, even though I have needle minders, sometimes I'm paranoid, especially if I know that I'm going to be tossing around the, the fabric. Um, so I just stick it in the actual grime guard instead. So I just wanted to make sure that the needle was still there because I have lost a needle this week and I haven't found it yet. So there's that. But yeah, this is what I have so done so far. Again, just it was just 200 stitches, mostly in this top area right here. And I hope to continue working on this a little bit more this month. Maybe um, maybe for another, another one of the ghost, ghost stitch prompts. Okay, um, another piece that was one of the ghost stitch callouts this week was a piece that I haven't worked on in quite a few uh, quite a few months. I started it and then just didn't t take it back out ever again. This is English English Garden Sampler by Teresa Weisler. Here we go. I was very very lucky to find a kit on one of the um, the barter groups. I'm, I'm I'm a member of quite a few cross stitch groups where you can. Um, either sell or trade and or trade I suppose because there's one specifically for trading but um, a lady was was looking to give this away so I of course couldn't miss that opportunity and for this one um, I st I've decided to start in the center whoops okay there we go I've decided to start in the center of it um, just because that was easiest especially be um, so that I knew that I had enough fabric and I put in again 200 stitches on this so this is the center of it this is just the alphabet that's in the center the piece is two over two for the most part except for that alphabet in the center this is all one over one and this is on 25 count I don't know what kind of, it just it looks like even weave against the, the fabric that came with with the kit but it is 25 count um, so the 200 stitches were essentially the top two colors, pretty much, two or three colors of the letters. When I first started this, I started here in the middle and I worked my way out with the first couple of colors. And so when I picked it back up for this week, um, I did the top, I finished up the top letters. So now I can go ahead and just continue on this side. I may go ahead and just do the, the rest, the, there's obviously there's a first row, there's a first row of letters up here, so I may go ahead and do those as well. But it's nice, I'm enjoying it. Um, I know that a lot of people don't like doing one over one, but I just consider it 
the same as my full coverage pieces that are on 25 count so I don't I don't mind it that much I'm happy and then another um, another piece that was called for it was actually the, I think it was the first letter that was called out was T and for this one actually the cover photo is going to be here on my tablet it was a piece that I hadn't worked on in quite a few months as well again started it didn't really pick it back up afterwards this is and it's measuring there we go this is tune sweet two by our very own park hopper bark here on floss tube and i again just 200 stitches i'm keeping this on my stitching button bag jack skellington fabric because it's obviously it's haunted mansion so and i have this was separate i bought this separately but i do have a matching crime card <laughs> Anyways, um, those 200 stitches were pretty much all done on this, um, yeah, this is right. The 200 stitches were pretty much all done on the second rows right here. When I first picked this back up, it was the first row, and I think I did like one leaf, maybe two. So the 200 stitches were done on this rows, and then this bottom leaf right here. So I think that, I think that's it for that, for that part. The next bit is just to keep going with the, the rest of the flowers along the border. And of course, my Haunted Mansion needle minder. Again, it's a theme. <laughs> but I am loving working on this. Um, I had to change some of the colors a bit because the model was stitched on a very different fabric. It was stitched on this uh, modeled gray fabric. So obviously, some of the colors that were used weren't quite going to work for for the fabric that i chose and it's not like this is just a scrap piece of fabric and i didn't cut it before <laughs> before i started stitching so it's not going to be this big um i just didn't feel like cutting it out i'll cut it out afterwards um but yeah again it was nice to revisit this i'm really enjoying um i'm really enjoying doing the the ghost stitch event because it's it's kind of forcing me to pull out a lot of things that i hadn't worked on in a while um you do have the option of again go calling out ghost stitch and stitching on something else so sometimes i'll you I, I have used hogwarts for that um but for the most part i do try to i mean the purpose of the of the event is to go ahead and stitch on whatever the wheel calls on so if i have something i'll go ahead and work on it um another piece that i worked on fell to the ground and i don't know where the cover image went here we go another piece that i worked on this week was my hate this is mimi one by zindy nielsen this is again heaven and earth designs and this was one of the first ones i started i started this back in august of 2018 i think this was my second one i tried starting a supersized no i think it was just mixed colors i tried doing an aframoff uh one of the aframoff charts that he has available it was way too much so and it was not it was definitely max colored i do remember that part um, so then I decided, okay, well, if max color was too much, I'll go ahead and do the opposite and look for, you know, black and white or sepia toned chart. So it's less colors that might be a little bit easier, which in a way was, but it's, it also can get some, um, pretty monotonous because it's just the same tones and sorry for the crinkles. I had this all folded up before pulling it out. Um, I put in 400 stitches. And it was mostly on this corner right here. So I was trying to get to the horizon so you can see the sea level. So most of it you can see I haven't quite finished, but most of it was done on this, this little corner right here um, to go ahead and line up the, the where the water is. So next step is to go ahead and just do the ocean water. And then lastly, I'll continue working on her head since it's 
quite confetti heavy. Um, but yeah, I pulled this out for one of the, the prompts for Daily 30. Um, we're doing Unsolved Mysteries this week and last week. So one of the prompts was kind of like a face pop, face pop moments. Um, one of the prompts we needed to do was we needed to mention or tell a tale, a spooky tale, like a mystery that you've always been fascinated by or a local legend, like a local legend slash spooky story, scary story. And I was like, oh, I wish I was cool enough to have a, a scary story to tell. My life is so boring. We have the Queen Mary like 15 miles away from where I live. <laughs> so I was like, okay, Queen Mary, ocean. This, this has the ocean in it. So there you go. That's how I tied it. Um, but yeah, so this was 400 stitches on this. And um, I'm not nearly where I would want it to be. But I do want this to be one of the first hates I finish since it was one of the first that I started. Um, so yeah, so maybe I'll get to work on it a little bit more <laughs> next month or the following months. I feel like once I finish Hogwarts Castle, it's gonna be like, just oh, anything goes, I can focus on something else. <laughs> um, what else? What else? I already showed you, so I think the only thing that's left to show is, sorry if you heard that, loud traffic. Um, this is just another one that I'm focusing on regularly this, this year. This is Flowers of the Alphabet by Lemonade on Etsy. And I, I messed up, unfortunately. So I, it was kind of like a two steps forward, one step back kind of thing. This is what I have so far. So I was able to finish these for Daisy. So I was able, able to finish the square, except for the back stitching. So if you, and I don't know if you can tell, you can kind of tell the difference between the, the flower petals and the background. Um, again, it's white on off white. So it may be hard to tell, but I finished that square and then I, I started stitching on the petals a little bit here. Um, I had the darkest color done first. So I started stitching on the lightest one, but um, the the issue was with this square right here. For this square, I had already done like half of the background, and as I was working on it yesterday, I realized that it was off. Like I was stitching and found, I found a mistake, so I corrected that mistake, but then I realized that there was like another one that I overlooked, I didn't notice, and that screwed up everything that I had done. So I had to frog it, I had to undo everything, and then, so now I just have to redo it. But this puts me behind, <laughs> because on the event that I'm doing this for, where we're supposed to um, change letters every two weeks, we just started H this weekend. So I'm supposed to be and this is barely F, so I have to do F, G, down here, and H. So, yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I think I may just abandon this letter for now and then just stitch on H so I can keep going with the event and then try to catch up later. Because as it is, it's slow going. Again, Harry Potter is just taking up all my time. Um, oh, um, I don't know if I mentioned this yet because this is like my third take. <laughs> but for for Hogwarts Castle, um, so I mentioned that I wanted to finish it at the end of July. Um, Zakia, dear friend Zakia of Lady Wayne Designs here on Flosstube, she is joining me in trying to finish her Hogwarts, or not Hogwarts. She's working on Snape. It's Harry Potter themed. It's not her Hogwarts castle, but it is Harry Potter themed um, project. She has a, a project with Professor Snape. 
so we're both going to try to finish it um, before Harry Potter's birthday. Um, but yeah, so once I finish it, Hogwarts, I feel like I can just work on anything else. It'll be, it'll be fun. Okay, um, I do believe that's all I had to show you this time. Let me see. Um, I do want to mention one, one thing, so part of a, a little bit of plans for the following um, week or so. I mentioned that I'm, I'm participating in Choose My Whip, where you, you stitch on whatever is the most popular whip that you, that you put up. Um, the first week was the Flowers of the Galaxy. For this week, Bilbo was the winner. This is Bilbo's Home by Mandarin's Designs. And I definitely want to finish this soon because it's super close to being finished anyways. I haven't picked it up just yet. I just wanted to show you for posterity's sake so you can have a little before and after image. So this is what I have done so far. So as you can see, I just have the floor. I just have the floor to go and then that's it. Back stitching and that's it. So definitely looking forward to working on this this week because um, it was the winner. So if you're counting your stitches, you have to do at least 500 stitches. And considering that it's going to be mostly done on, on half stitched, I think it's going to be, it's going to be quite a bit to go. Um, so yeah, so you'll be seeing this next week for sure, or next video in two weeks and then I'll also show you which one was the winner for the third week of April but yeah I do believe that's pretty that's pretty much all I've worked on so far again I was kind of bummed out that I needed to frog out so much of the background on the flowers of the alphabet um, but I'll just get that get that fixed I guess um, and yeah, I'll continue working on the um, ghost stitch. There we go, words, ghost stitch. Um, today's was D, so I'm working for, D, um, D is for Disney villains. So I'm working on my villains piece today. So I'm very excited about it. Again, I'll try to, I think I'll go ahead and just try to post daily on, on whatever the ghost stitch call is. I don't normally, because. For me, I usually try to post when I have quote unquote good progress. Um, so 200 stitches is not that much, but I feel like it'll be, it's better than nothing. <laughs> and I haven't, because I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to post as much because I haven't worked as much on the pieces that I normally would post about, except for Hogwarts, so. Yeah, I'll just, I think I'll just go ahead and post whatever calls, whatever is the ghost stitch call. Um, so, you, so I have something, <laughs> something to show you guys. But um, that's it. That's that's all I I have to talk to you guys about this time. Um, we're both doing well, thank goodness. Uh, my boyfriend was able to get the vaccine yesterday, which is very very exciting. So now it's. I'm just waiting for my turn. <laughs> um, we're, we're on separate insurances. We, he's covered through his work. So that's how he was able to get an appointment. And I'm just waiting for mine. But um, it's very exciting. And yeah, we're just busy. Again, school, but school's gonna start back up next week. So it's gonna get, get back, get back to being busy, busy. Um, but I'll just enjoy this weekend while it lasts. So yeah, so I hope that you guys have a very relaxing weekend, a productive week, and as always, I hope you always find the time to do the thing that makes you happy. Until next time, bye.